Hello everybody and welcome back to BMG Drive. So it's this time again, we're beating Forgotten Mustard's latest speed record. So I wasn't actually planning on making another one of these because the first two ones were pretty stupid in my opinion. I mean his speed record was impressive, he was using the car's engine to achieve these insane speeds. And I wasn't, <laughs> I was basically hacking the f out of the game. But then I saw his record and I was like, man, I miss making videos like these. So we're here again with the beloved Ibishu Miramar that I honestly never used in BeamNG. So in his speed record, he achieved a mere 650 kilometers per hour. To be precise, even a little less than that, but let's round it up at 650 so it's easier to follow along and remember the speed that he achieved but yeah it's it's a cute record for God and Mustard and as usual he forgets pun definitely intended I'm always ready to smash his speed records so yeah I'm gonna dethrone him even this time so before we start if you're excited to see how I'm gonna beat for God and Mustard this time make sure to smash like and subscribe and yeah with this being said let's get into it so let's start with my Ibishu Miramar, because of course, this is the machine that I'll be beating his record with. So what does it have going for it? Well, first of all, it looks better than his, like no doubt, mainly because it's in baby blue, the best color in the world. Then, well, the design is minimalist, as all of my other cars. And you're probably thinking, what engine does it have? I mean, his had 3000 horsepower. Well, my one has 100. So you might be thinking either how the f are you going to achieve this record or if you watched my previous speed records what are you going to do this time so i've got a little spoiler for you we're not interested in horsepower here we're more interested in pounds of thrust and you'll probably start to figure out where i'm going with this so obviously this car by itself is not going to achieve even 300 kilometers per hour for that matter but we don't have a problem that forgotten mustn't had. At the end of his video, his tyres kept popping around 630 kilometers per hour, which is unfortunate, but it's simple physics. So I've come up with a solution. So I'm gonna be attempting this record in two main ways, and I'll also be trying to do something that I've never tried actually at the end of this video. So make sure to stick around and yeah, let's start smashing records. So as usual with these top speed runs, I have the airspeed in the top right corner and down below, well, there's the usual stuff that nobody even cares about. But anyways, it's time to turn on my Ibishu Miramar. Kind of struggles. Doesn't have an exhaust as all of my other cars. It's tradition at this point. So let's go. So. This is how we're going to beat the record <laughs> in a f***ing bus. So let me just reverse so that the car doesn't instantly destroy itself. So I'm up against the staircase and I'm going to put it in neutral. I'm going to engage the handbrake and I'm going to turn it off. And yeah, before you go, let me just explain what we're working with. So yeah, we're in the bus. So. Technically, the car is going to reach possibly even the speed of sound, but technically a hay bale could do the same. So yeah, view it as you wish, but technically I will be beating his record. He didn't set any rules, so that's in my favor. But as you can see in the back, we have Jato engines. So if I run like this, uh, the bus is gonna instantly crunch up and I'll show you what happens if we go without a roof, but Luckily, we can still put one on, so I'm going to do this real quick. Do -do 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 -do. So yeah, now the car is enclosed inside of the bus. The bus itself has enough structural integrity to not crunch up instantly. And as you may have noticed, we don't have any rear tires, so our tires are not going to blow up and glitch out as they did in Forgotten Mustard's speed test. You might also notice that we have front tires, that's because I won't actually be able to steer it, otherwise it's just going to slam into the guardrail and destroy itself in a million pieces. So yeah, with this being said, I'm going to turn it on. This also struggles for some reason. But yeah, let's start with this run. So I'm going to put it into gear. 
and I'm gonna slowly accelerate to, I don't know. Yeah, this seems pretty good. So I'm gonna put into neutral, turn the engine off and engage the rockets. So, uh, already beat the record by a lot. We're going pretty quick. Like, extremely quick. I wasn't expecting to be going this quick. Bus is starting to get in stable. Did we lose something? I don't know, but when we're reaching 3,000 kilometers per hour. Oh, shit. This is gone. How's the Miramar? So, for some reason, the Miramar is deep below the surface of the ocean. So, you know what? <laughs> We're gonna do a second run because this one was kind of weird. So, here we go again. By the way, getting in the bus is so fun. It's a little flop. This was kind of harsh, actually. Oh, this is epic. It, it's inside the bus now. Like, literally, it's clipping the mesh, so it's gonna be even more stable. Perfect. So, I'm gonna engage the handbrake, neutral, turn it off, and now, well, it's roof time. But you know what? This time, I'm gonna be switching to the Miramar whilst we're going at Mark 3, so that we can actually see what speed the Miramar is at because it was kind of imprecise the last run. So we're going to do it again. This time, I'm going to start like straight away in Jato. So here we go. And we are off. Very unstable. I'm going to switch to the Miramar now. Uh, oh, shit. Well, we definitely beat the record. Um, <laughs> what the f is going on? Oh, it's. It was spinning like crazy. Ah, oh, <laughs> oh, come on. One last run in this style and then we'll move on to the other way of beating this record. Which, by the way, let, let me be clear. We already beat it by a lot, so we're safe. Don't worry. So, here we go again. Uh, hopefully this time it goes to plan. So yeah, I'm just gonna engage the rockets. Why does it pop there? Right, I think we're pretty stable now. I'm gonna switch to the mirror one. So we're, we're going pretty quick. Uh, can't see shit, so... I'm wondering what's going on, actually. We're at 2,500 kilometers per hour now. This is actually scary, knowing we're going this fast and not seeing what's ahead of us. Prepare for a jump scare, guys. Uh, it's gonna be terrifying. 2,600 now. Ooh. I don't know what the f*** is going on. <laughs> There's a glitched mess there. I think we're still connected to the bus in some way. Yeah, there's just a mashed potato of Miramar and bus. Looks like a sea creature. Pretty nice. Anyways, this time we're going to be trying it in an alternative way, so... This still is going to be pretty interesting to see. I've never actually tried this, I've just had the idea, so yeah, let's see. It all takes a while. But this time, we're tying the car on the roof. Yes. So I think I'm going to park it in the center. Like this should do. And now it's time to tie it, so... So the car is now officially tied up to the bus, looking pretty stanced actually. It looks good. But yeah, uh, to prove that it doesn't move, actually not to prove, to verify because if it moves, we're in big trouble. As you can see, the f Anyways, it's not going to move. What is going to move though, is the bus. And yeah, here we go. This is nerve wracking. Actually, you know what? We're going to be able to see where we're going this time in the mirror, Mark, so that's one less thing to worry about. Damn, that was a faster launch than usual. Shit. <laughs> yeah. 
caught well this time. That was a hard landing. Let's try that again. Forgotten Mustard is probably watching this and thinking to himself, what the f is this man's problem? <laughs> Sorry, man, <laughs> but this is way too fun. Yeah, place it more forwards this time. Somewhere about here. So the car has been tied up to the bus, but it's kind of off. Don't know why. But anyways, let's not get bogged down for some stupid thing like this. Let's go. You know what? One last time, but I'm not going to tie the car. I'm just going to park it. So for this run, I wanted an alternative camera view to see actually what happens. So yeah, I'm going to engage the thrusters now and let's see. Probably the car's going to fall off, but just want to make sure. Nice. <laughs> oh, damn. Anyways, I think it's still dro <laughs> What is it? <laughs> How fast is it going? Poor bus. So let's do a run with the bus, like nothing else in it. And the launch. The Tesla Roadster. I mean, look at this. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> and it does its spinny thing. Nice. So now I'll show you what it does without a roof because I promised you this. Yes. Nice, huh? Oh, shit. <laughs> Why does it twist so much? Well, this was it. Uh, what a video. But honestly, other than these old stupid challenges, it's so cool to see a creator like Forgotten Mustard even giving a shit about what an ant-sized channel is doing. So props to Forgotten Mustard. Make sure to subscribe to his channel because he's one of the pioneers of BMG challenges. Anyways, the new record has been set. I want to see what Forgotten Mustard brings to the table after this one. I am not going to make another speed test with this car. So yeah. This is my shot at the record. Forgot I must If you wanna take back your throne, feel free to do so. But yeah, thank you so much for watching guys and if you enjoyed this stupid speed test, make sure to smash like and subscribe. And well, guess we'll see you soon.